you clicked on this video, you want to learn how to do a diamond push up, let me show you right now. So, this is obviously going to be a lot more extreme and tougher than a regular push up. It's going to engage the triceps a lot more, and it's actually pretty advanced because a regular push up, a lot more chest engagement, whereas when you go like this and pretty much form a diamond, it's going to be all triceps with a little bit of help from the shoulders and chest. So, basically, get nice and comfortable on the ground, create a diamond form on the ground, and then your goal here is to tuck the elbows down to the side, control all the way down, and then up, okay? Once again, down, and up. I'll just rep out a couple more reps to show you guys that I actually know how to do it. We just did a full push workout, but this is our burnout. And next up, we're gonna show you three common mistakes so you can understand what not to do so you can do this exercise properly. First common mistake, I see this a ton, is not actually learning how to actively involve your triceps. And the easiest way to do that, the reason we do this diamond is so we can have this position, this 45 degree angle. When you're pressing from a 45 degree angle, even with a bench, this is how we bring in the triceps. Whereas the more we flare forward like this, the more I'm gonna activate my chest and my shoulders. So we're opening up to the chest and shoulders. Whereas the closer you get, if I was like this, this would be an insane amount of tricep, but it's not very realistic to the movement. That's why this 45 degree angle is the most natural movement. So here you can see with the 45, how clean and confident these look. It's not awkward to me at all. So can I flare forward like this? Puts a ton of tension on my shoulder. I feel like I'm gonna completely rip that and that's not something you wanna do. So you wanna avoid going super far forward like this. Keep those elbows nice and tucked. Don't even flare at all. It's a little awkward because you're used to push-ups where you do have a little bit of that movement. So here it's all about keeping that 45 degrees, powering through it. Second mistake, uh, this is super common, even I'll have some new clients to try to do a plank and people don't really understand that you want your arms pretty much just under your shoulders or just slightly above for this exercise. So you see people try to plank like this and this is just awkward, you're sliding forward. It's super awkward, it's more like a Superman plank. Whereas if you're too far forward like this, you're gonna tip forward and that's not gonna work at all. So for this positioning, I like it pretty much just under my face or my chin. Um, that way my arms are essentially straight down in this nice 45 degree angle. I can control and push up. Whereas if it's super in front, it doesn't work, it turns into a weird elbow up, right? If they're super far back, I'm just gonna face plant. So this is super important, obviously those are extreme variations, but if you manipulate it an inch or two the wrong way, it's gonna be a really awkward movement, whereas when you have everything set up correctly, it's gonna be very natural and efficient. Boom. And common mistake number three is sagging hips. So once people get into the position, they do it a lot for planks and push-ups as well, they immediately push their glutes down towards the ground. You're just not gonna get any range of motion and it's gonna be poor execution. Another common mistake, 3.5, is just being way too high up. This is just not gonna work and it's just not gonna be fun at all. So make sure to push your glutes downwards and try to be straight within your entire back and butt. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Hopefully you learned a ton. Make sure to click that first link in the description for a full form guide. You do not want to miss out. It's going to go right to your email and help you guys dramatically in the gym. So make sure to subscribe if you're new to the channel. Leave a comment if you enjoyed this video, which I know you did, and we'll see you in the next video. Peace out.